Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Thank you for clicking my video. Um, in this video today, I'll be talking about jealousy, how to become more in tune with yourself, and find out why we get jealous of other women and try to start getting together and being a force to reckon with together instead of apart but before we get started do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you could be a part of my family and you can get all those notifications as soon as i post a video let's get started i was reading this book called girl code and the author's name is Tara Leba. I might be saying her name completely wrong. If I am, I do apologize. I will put a link of her book in the description box below. Excellent book. Excellent book. I read this about a couple months ago and it just put me in that mindset like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Like women's empowerment lift up each other like it's so crazy nowadays how the competition aspect has become so ugly to the point where like you don't even want to help out the fellow girl right next to you even if you guys are doing the same thing because you don't want to her to outshine you not thinking oh i can learn from her she can learn from me we both can rise like I don't get it but it's a part of human nature and it all starts from jealousy Kara made this point she made this quote and she said um girls compete women in power so true that when you're little you you look at a girl's dress and you're just like ugh why she look like that because subconsciously you wanted that dress and you're just a little be honest you're just a little upset that <laughs> you couldn't get that dress so now that she's walking around with it i'm mad now i hate it i don't think it looks good on her so that's what i'm gonna say instead as a and then you grow up and you kind of still have the same mentality but we need to redirect that and we need to start saying, yo, you look really nice in that dress. You are working that gown, girl. Little things change. Little things change big outcomes. I have a few notes, so if you see me looking down, it's just so that I could just stay on topic and not rant on and have like a 20 minute video because i know y'all not gonna stay for that and i ain't gonna stay for it either jealousy is a natural emotion pain and hurt and happiness and laughter these are just things that naturally happen the key is to change it into a positive way like i said before instead of saying ugh i don't like that say that was really nice that looked good that would change your mindset in a way to thinking more positively social media has a way of just brainwashing us to be even more jealous of someone like you'll see someone doing something and you want to do it so bad but what is stopping you this is the thing that we need to start realizing as well like why am i jealous of this person nine times out of ten is because you want what they have but you're not realizing that you can have what they have. You're just not going about it the way that you should like she is. And for heaven's sakes, you don't even know how she even got it. We need to start realizing that if she got it, I can have it. If she got 100,000 subscribers, I can have it. I might not get it as fast as she got it, but if I work hard and I'm dedicated, I will get 500 thousand subscribers I will even eventually get a million but the it's not about the race is about how you do it and your integrity it's almost like for instance if I reach out to 
a person who I look up to and I'm like, for instance, Cheska Locks. This is just an example. I haven't reached out to her, so this is just an example. If I reach out to her and I say, hey, I love your videos. I just wanted to bend your ear a little bit and see like how you went about getting so many subscribers or what did you do to get your face out there so much because you inspire me. This can go either way. She can either be like, Oh, thank you so much, but uh, I really don't have the time to even discuss this, uh, but thank you for the support. Or she can say, oh my gosh, it was a, oh, I am so grateful because of you. Um, I've gotten to this part because of people like you. And me getting to where I am right now is just by consistency, staying true to who I am and not caring about anyone else or like what they're doing. Just focus on me it can go either way either way it goes you don't leave that conversation with a nasty taste in your mouth just realize that everybody isn't as sharing as you would like them to be and keep it moving you would just simply say okay well thank you god bless uh, with everything and your success and you're doing good girl and keep it moving like you get what I'm saying it doesn't make any sense to be mad if someone doesn't want to share with you how they got to where they got and it doesn't make any sense for you to be jealous of them for getting to where they got and you're not there yet because you can't compare your life to their life there are two types of jealousy um, malicious and benign and with these you need to figure out what kind of jealous person are you because we all have this there's no need to even run away from it we all have it malicious uh, meaning if you're so jealous of this person that you just wish their success just get taken away or they have a relationship that you just dream about and because you haven't received this blessing yet you just wish that um this 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 is taken away from them that's not cool that's malicious like why do you want to wish harm or hurtfulness on someone but nine is like oh they i see that they rolling around in a Rolls royce they just got a new apartment yo they winning hmm i'm starting to realize these are the things that i want what do i have to do to get there you you get what i'm saying you it's it's almost aspirational it's inspiring you that type of jealousy it's making you want to reach for the stars and become better within yourself to get to where they are or even more you probably don't even want exactly what they have but just seeing it and realizing that she can do it so I definitely can do it pushes me more or pushes you more to go out there and do it don't let jealousy cripple you to the point where now you see somebody is successful and instead of you being excited about that and saying yes I can do that too you are just like oh they got it I can't do it anymore I'm over it I'm done no we are not gonna do that anymore we I used to be that girl growing up all the time used to be like I can kick it with a dude better than I can kick it with a girl and once I got older I had to realize like why is that I can't have just a whole bunch of dudes and don't have the core girlfriends that I could fall back on and just talk to them about what I'm going through business relationship emotional wise it doesn't matter I can't like you can speak to a guy but that girlfriend she understands what you're trying to say so I had to realize why did I always feel like that and the reason was is because the people around me and it was the truth were just not positive they weren't inspirational they were almost negative they almost it almost felt like they wanted me to fail and they probably didn't even mean it that way but their responses with certain things that I would speak to them about or the la the don't care attitudes about the things that I was really um excited about 
just wasn't the same. Um, one of my friends, well, she's not really my friend, but I know her. Um, her name is I Love I Love Fun. I Love You Fun on Instagram. She says this quote a lot. Um, my vibe attracts my tribe and that is true as day what i give out is what i'm gonna receive so i can blame them but i need to blame myself as well if i put out that negative energy if i put out that don't care attitude if i put out that jealousy the universe is gonna give me back that <laughs> whether it be in my friends my family my relationship it doesn't matter this is what I'm gonna get back so what you need to just sit down and think about is just like you have criterias for your significant other you should have criterias for your girlfriends right say what do you need as a friend what do you expect from your friend what are you going to do as a friend you know what I'm saying what do you need around you and if the if what you're wanting you can't see that in your friends it's kind of time for you to let them go because your vibe attracts your tribe in order for you to flourish and be the best you that you can be you can't continue to have these negative beings in your life nothing is gonna happen for you another good thing to do to build more of a woman's empowerment and to keep this woman empowerment movement going is to just stay away from the negativity stay away from the drama the woman bashing this uh, the gossiping all that nonsense you hear somebody saying something negative about somebody else you be like well she cute though or you just walk away from it don't entertain the shenanigans because all you're doing is bringing that back into your life in which you're trying to make better for yourself it's as simple as that i don't even really need to go into details because y'all already know if i'm going to talk bad about somebody that means somebody's going to talk bad about me and the cycle continues it will never end it will never end it will never end just support each other uplift each other it's not hard to go to somebody and tell them yo shorty not shorty <laughs> you don't say that um hey girl you look good give her a compliment uh if you see somebody doing great if somebody's just started a business instead of being jealous about it say oh i congratulate you you're doing such a fantastic job your youtube page is popping i love what you're doing you're very motivational um i appreciate you be genuine about it don't just say these things so you can get something in return and in conclusion these are the things that I did to better myself so I won't I from time to time of course you get jealous of people but these are what I do to better myself so that I am not consumed by jealousy and outrage for somebody else's life and why I'm not there I first see why I'm jealous of that person what about their life is pissing me off or what about their life is making me so upset once I figure that out then I deal with it like why do I feel why do I feel that way can I make my life better so I don't feel that way 100% of the time you can you can fix your life you, sometimes it might take a little longer than others but it can be fixed also deal with your surroundings deal with the people that are in your life sometimes you might need to cut people and sometimes you don't even need to cut them you can have that conversation if they're truly someone you want to keep into your life and you think they truly respect what you have to say sit down and speak with them and say this is what I need if you need this from me as well I got you but this is what I need to keep you in my life like I don't need that negativity anymore I need a support system everyone needs a support system like people could do things on their own but it's better to do things when you have your loved ones with you right remember envy is that green ugly monster that we do not want in our lives and green is not a good shade
I mean, it looks good in clothes. You, you know what I mean. Who wants that? Who wants that dark cloud over their head? Like, that's whack. Anyways, see you guys next time. If you like videos like this and you want more from me and you want to see me lots and lots and lots more, don't forget to like, subscribe, share my video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Tiger Lilies. Sorry guys, that thing was extremely tight on my head and it was giving me a headache. Remember I told you guys before, I don't have a big head. There's just some things that run small. Anyways. <laughs>